Okay, I went for a hunt this, uh, this afternoon after I got out of work. Uh, me and Jim were supposed to go out metal detecting, but we decided not to. And I went hunting out my backyard. And my phone's not going to focus in. There we go. So I went out hunting out back and um, realized uh, that I forgot my glasses and I also forgot my video equipment. So I, I decided to continue to do the hunt and um, yeah, pull up this little small piece and I go, well, that's got some detail on it. Um, thought I saw a cross on it. Like, nah, I can't be. And it's probably not what I think it is. But then I pulled out this copper. And, uh, I'm like, okay. So I decided to put the equipment away and come home. And, uh, see what these two items are. So I'll clean them up and, uh, hopefully one of them is good. <laughs> Alright, see you soon. Well, I'm not disappointed. See that little piece of coin with a cross with the wavy lines underneath it? That is a Spanish cob. I never thought I'd ever come across a Spanish cob. I, I, mean, I pulled an 8 real and I was astonished that I pulled that. A lot of people said, wow, I can't believe you pulled an 8 real. Now I pulled a cob. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. I knew there was something. I've been hunting out in this back area for the longest time. And going, I found trimes out there, cat bus. I said, there's got to be even cooler stuff out there. And there was. I got pirate treasure. And I also got a sucky old phone that doesn't want to zoom in. <laughs> uh... Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. That gives the detail even better. Alright. So, anyways, let's see. Flip it over. Not screw it up too much. That's the size I saw first. Uh, let's see. I saw the cross. I was like, is that an X in the middle of the thing? Is there a cross in the middle of the thing? Uh, yeah, there is. I tried cleaning up a little bit of baking soda because it's so black. But I'm so scared to damage it. <laughs> oh, and I also found uh, the copper turned out to be a KG2. Um, that was a signal that barely registered. Uh, faint, no numbers, nothing. Was... About 12 inches deep in the ground, I'd say. So, yeah, uh, just because you have a faint blip, just keep trying to see if you can get it to repeat. Took quite a bit to get that to repeat. And I actually, it was funny when I dug the hole, um, I saw green and I said, Oh, I got it in my hand. I brought it up to me, and, and, and all of a sudden the green just all broke apart. I was like, What the hell? I was like, Oh, an impression. And I looked down the hole, and there was a coin down in the hole. <laughs> So, but yeah, uh, I'm, I'm psyched. My second Spanish, first was an 8 real, now I have a cob. And many more to find, right? Alright, see you guys in the next.